Welcome to Color and Cut Education. My name is Sebastian. Okay, today we are going to do graduation haircut again. Uh, but it's slightly different from the last video. The last video we talked about low graduation. Okay, so today we are going to talk about high graduation. Okay, what is high graduation? 1 to 89 is graduation. Okay, so there are two different parts. One is the low and one is the high. So what is high? Okay, looking at the graph here, you can see that the high is actually 45 and above, but it's lower than 90 degree. Okay, so 90 degree is a layer. Okay, within this 45 to 89, we call it high graduation. At the, it actually it is called building weight, but at the same time, we took off some weight off. All right, so basically is that we build weight, but at the same time, we don't build too much weight. So when would you want to use high graduation? That means high graduation when the top of the head, we need more volume. Okay, then the hair will be getting shorter. Okay, in length. And it's going higher, the angle. That's why we call high graduation. Alright, so later on, right, we are going to cut the hair. Same as the previous haircut. Okay, uh, it, was in, uh, it was in the low graduation form. So today we're going to use a low graduation to cut into high graduation. Okay, so later on I'm still going to section different kind of segments. At the same time, as usual, you will only do two sections or four sections when you are in cutting your model's hair or your client's hair. I'm, ju I'm just going to section uh, different parts and going to explain to you later on. All right. Let's proceed to the haircut. Okay, from here, right, um, I have uh, sectioned the hair. You can see that there are different sections. You can see the one over here, again, the above the ear, and the one at the near to the crown area. Okay, so both sides is actually equal. Um, why I section like this? This part here, okay, because today, we are actually cutting concave bob, okay? Concave bob is actually what we use the term in the salon. Okay, that means if the client comes in and says that she wants to do a concave bob, we know, okay, that the haircut it must be here short, <laughs> here long. So it's a diagonal forward. Okay, it's a diagonal forward haircut. So when it's a diagonal forward haircut, means down here it's going to be cut short and the hair will be pushing up like that. Okay, if it is pushing up like that, that means here it's going to be short. Here it's going to be long. So if here is going to be long, that means here is also very important. You do not want to cut off the length. Okay, to achieve this today, I section this off so that later on I will not cut short. This part here we're going to cut off a lot of hair today, because uh, since it's going to be. A high graduation that means we are going to take off a lot of weight because the previous haircut we did a low graduation by looking at the back right now you can see that it's like that means right it's going like that which is a concave form okay or in simple in simple term we call it triangular okay triangular today this part here okay is the most important part of this concave bob haircut okay because if this were to cut wrong then basically the top here is going to cut wrong also the section wise right we are going to cut over here is like that okay means we are going to cut like that you see it's, it's, the, it's the same form as the concave so it's going like that this side is like that that side is going to be this way Okay, so it's like a, a form of an A, okay, a form of an A. Each part we take, we try to use the length as a guideline to cut a high graduation haircut. Okay, so let's proceed to the haircut at the back. I'm going to show you the section on how I'm going to open for this side. Okay, I'm going to section this part, I'm not going to touch it. Again, okay, the same thing, we're going to use water. Water can help us to stick the hair. 
So once I stick the hair, I will use a clip to clip it so that I will not touch it. Okay, for this side here, that means every part of section that I'm going to cut is like that. Okay, it's going to go diagonal. But we are going to save this, try not to cut away. So I section like that. Okay, you can see it's diagonal. All right. Okay, Keep, clip it. If you can't handle the hair, clip it. All right. I will just comb like that. So how to comb? Now we need to know. This part here, it's zero. Okay, you just see like that. Okay, this part here is zero. Okay, that means like this, it's a 90. Okay, so that means like this, approximately like this, it's going to be a 45. So I need to go higher a bit to be high graduation. Okay, we try not to cut the length. Okay, and we're gonna go off. Now, what I'm pulling right now is actually uh, near to the center. Okay, the center is here. My head has tilted for the camera. That is why you can see that I'm like cutting at the corner area, but actually it's not. I'm facing right behind the head. I'm facing at the center. And you can see over here, when I cut, I am just direct the hair right to the center. Okay? Then the next section. Okay? So the next section, and we're going to cut. Try to direct the hair to the center. Okay? Okay, so now I'm going to turn the head. Okay, like this. And direct the hair right near to the center. You don't need to direct the hair to the center. That means you, you direct the hair onto the center line to cut. No need, no need. You just have to direct the hair right to the center because by directing the hair to the center, you will not cut the length here. You save the length here. All right? So sometimes we have client, sometimes we have model. They say that I want to maintain the length, but because it is too bulky, I can't see volume. Okay? You will decide to cut a high graduation haircut like this. Okay? Once later on, once it's dry, this hair will actually lift up the hair over here. All right? The same side, I'm going to cut. Both sides have cut, so to check, I need to check whether both sides is equal. Okay, if it's not equal, then I have to check why is it not equal, and I will go through my haircut one more time. Okay, you need to make sure both sides is equal before you can proceed to the top. Alright, so in order to make sure that you are cutting the same thing again. You have to go through your cutting section. Okay, what is cutting section? That means you have to go through the previously how you do the haircut. Okay, check through. Okay, once you check through, then you're able to find, we call it the excess weight or the excess length. Okay, then you can achieve both sides to be equal. Once I finish cutting through my cutting section, right, I will do a cross check on the hair. Now, what is cross check on the hair? Cross check is actually like an, for example, an X. Okay, once you check, once you cut like this, you check through like this, you will actually found all the invisible weight that you can you can find in the cutting section itself. Using cross section, we can find the invisible length or weight. Now, how do we do the cross section? Now, cross section is actually 
the opposite section of your cutting section. So for example, I'm cutting like that, right? So when I check opposite of this, it's actually like this, correct? So when I check, when I pull, when I comb this way, okay, I'm combing like that, correct? Now when I comb like this, it's actually the opposite section, but how you're going to pull and direct the hair to you is actually the same angle and the same direction of the cutting section, okay? Different section, okay, for cross check, okay? For cross check, different section, same angle, same direction, okay? Usually how I memorize, we, I, I call it SSD, you see? So what is SSD is actually same angle, same direction, different section, okay? So for, for me to memorize, okay? So for here, right, we can see is that when I do a cross section, this is my cutting section, right, for here. So when I check, it's opposite. So when it's opposite, I'm going to comb like this. So when I comb like this, I will take the hair and comb towards to the angle just down of how I cut, okay? And when I check, right, I must check, uh, is it equal length, okay? If it's equal, then okay. If it's not, that means if it is uh, longer by half an inch, you can cross check and cut it off, okay? But if you cross check and you found it's more than half an inch, it's one inch or one inch and a half, you cannot cut during cross check, okay? You cannot cut during cross check when it is you found the one inch and more, okay? Because that way you might be combing the wrong direction or the wrong angle or you might lift you might elevate the head a bit too low or too high we do not know it can be a lot of um, assumption inside so in order to cut it off even if it is one inch or more we have to go back to our cutting section to check whether there is really things to cut okay if there's nothing then don't cut okay so same every part of the hair you try to section towards you and cut off what you think is an irregular clean guideline okay because as the haircut goes up in angle that means it's you are cutting 45 angle and above okay or 45 degree and above the steps will be visible means not just i can see your mother and your client's friend also can see okay if your cutting is not neat okay if your cutting is not neat that means the when it's dry right you and her friends can able to see a hole in the haircut okay so for here okay for here this cutting section for here this side is like that correct that means when this opposite it's going to be like that okay so when i take it's going to be like that and when you take the hair you direct the hair right to the center because just now you cut it's right to the center Okay, so when you cross check, it must also be towards the center. Okay, so once you have cross check everything, then we can proceed to here. Now, before I continue, okay, some of you might already feel that when I cross check both sides, you find it that this side, right? When I cut, it's this angle like this. Is this is this section like this? All right. But when I cross check for here, it's like this. But this way is actually this part of the cutting section. So it's like opposite of each other. 
cutting section. So when I cut here, it's actually this cutting section to cross check here. When I cut here, okay, the cross check section is actually this part here of the cutting section. All right, it's a bit confusing, but you just need to digest slowly, practice, and you can get it. All right, now, now we are cutting this side here. Now, when I cut this side here, okay, my last part of the bottom section, I have to make sure the guideline it's neat, okay. I must make sure that the guideline is neat before I can let go the next section to cut. Okay, so I'm going to let go these two parts. Okay. How much to let go? About an inch. Okay, if you cannot see the guideline, or using inch, one inch you can't see the guideline, that means her hair is too thick. Okay, then you have to let go only half an inch. Okay, so this side, I also let go. So, I'm going to spray wet here. Okay, so this side, when I cut, okay, I'm actually sitting behind the head, okay, directly, you know, directly center. When I cut this part here, I'm actually combing towards me, towards me, okay, like that. But it's actually at a high graduation, okay. So, where should I start? Should I start to cut the top? downwards or should I cut the bottom first now a lot of us we will start from the center now that is not say it's right or wrong but the control must be there because if you accidentally bring it this way you will cut off the length here so for beginners okay like us we try to cut the bottom first towards the center because I would rather it's shot at the center and not shot at the out outline safest way okay because your clients and models they can't really see at the back but for them when they check at the mirror they will actually can see here that you cut short the hair okay so make sure to maintain the length here and cut okay saving this part of not cutting the hair okay same thing here high graduation okay let me just go like that so I'm going to proceed step by step So this part, I'm not going to clip it anymore. It's easier for me. Okay, and you can see it's going like this, the section. So when I comb right to the back, okay. When you take the hair, okay, when you take the hair, you must make sure that it's within your finger spacing. You do not want to take all and just squeeze it like that. Okay, because it will not be accurate. Okay, this haircut, okay, it's different from low graduation. Okay, this haircut, it needs to be 70 to 80 percent accuracy. Okay, minimum I'm talking about. Okay, in order to look nice on the client or your model's hair. Okay, I'm gonna cut.
Okay, so you can see. Okay, you will see the graduation. Okay, and we did not cut the outline at all. Same thing, we're gonna section. Okay. Same thing, we direct the head right to the back. You will find that there's nothing to cut. It's normal because we want to save the length. Okay, so we're going to, you see how high I'm getting? You might see that, uh, isn't this a 90 degree? No, this is not 90 degree. Okay, because if this is a 90 degree, right, it will look like that, okay? The flat surface is here. So the 90 perpendicular to the head, right? So it's like this. So that means the hair, it must be like this, then it's 90. But I'm not getting that way. I'm actually pulling this side. It's near to 90, all right? So sitting this way down. So I'm going to proceed. Okay, I'm cutting the outline, saving the outline. Okay, and we're gonna cut inside. Now you can see that the whole shape start to build nicely. Okay, you continue. So I'm not gonna clip the hair already. It's easier for me. It should be higher than the previous section that you take. It should not be at the same level. Why? Now, when you cut the hair, right, you, when you progress, you will find it that you will start to see a very feasible line, what we call a hard line, okay? There will be a soft line, there is a hard line. Hard line, that means it's very visible, okay? It's just like, like that. Okay, so if it is a hard line, that means you are actually pulling lower than your previous haircut section or, or maintaining all section into the previous section. That is why there is a hard line. Why I do not have the hard line? Because I increase my angle every section than the previous section. Okay, so same, I'm going forward. I can see I have to comb on the roots and you see this, right? Now you have to comb until you don't see that, okay? So that the hair will be even tension, okay? Now when I comb down here, I feel that it's a bit dry. You need to wet the hair. Is it lower? Yeah, we need to go higher. Okay, so I'm done with this side. So you can see, slant this way, right? So you can see that um, haircut is very different from our last 
low graduation why because you can see this right why is it looks like shorter because this part here there is no more weight to station the hair at one place okay because the hair have already cut some weight and it's we call it a soft line okay that's why you will see this it's very normal okay it's very normal because when it dries up you can see all this bob in the salon that it goes like that right because here there is no more pillar of weight the previous haircut for the low graduation is a square we are saving the pillar of weight now there is no more pillar of weight it actually the hair will contract okay and it will form a graduation that is soft to the haircut okay so i'm going to cut this side Okay, so I have uh, cut finish the hair. Now before we blow dry, we have to cross check the hair first. Why? Why we need to cross check the hair before blow dry? Because this haircut, there is too much angle, there is too much cutting section, there is too much different kind of direction. Now, if we do not cross check before blow dry, and when you blow dry, what if? after blow dry but if after blow dry the hair there is one side is longer one side is shorter there is a whole different angle uneven steps what happened then you have to find ways to go and cut it now when you find ways to go and cut it you have no choice but to use thinning scissors okay if you have a choice uh, it will take another an hour to recut the hair again okay so before we do that kind of mistakes we have to cross check the hair first before we carry on to blow drying okay so now we are going to cross check now how i cross check now down here below we already done the cross check right so we're going to section by section okay this side we don't touch first Okay, we're going to touch this side first. And when we do this side, same thing. This is the haircut, how we did, right? So, we have to, the opposite direction, opposite section. Then we will try to pull towards the angle of how we pull just now. And we will cut off the irregular weight or irregular line. Or irregular length now how do we know now you see like that this one is longer right this is what we are cutting okay if you are not sure then don't cut okay if you are not sure then don't cut the hair you need a lot of practice now this kind of haircut you need to practice at least 10 times then you can find your so-called uh, cross-checking weight because the first time when I do I also don't understand I need to do a few times a lot of practice then I can find the cross-check weights Now try to do cross check when you finish the whole haircut okay but if you are 
a person that always do a lot of mistakes then you have to section by section uh, maybe after you cut seven to eight sections you have to cross check your previous one okay slowly slowly try to reduce the number of times you cross check okay it's either below one time top second time that's it okay then you blow dry the hair okay a lot of us because we want fast we don't do cross check then we will lead to a lot of different kind of um, mistakes during the blow drying and the trimming later on now once you see my video okay I hope you like and share my video because some of us would um, some of us okay will disagree to what I show you guys because I'm cutting a mannequin head right but mannequin head are the practices that you will show the mistakes in life during your haircut with the model because every model hair texture hair density is different even if you cut 100 different kinds of models you tend not to learn enough for the concave haircut because what you learn is different hair texture different way to do it different hair density all right you need a lot of practice during the mannequin head if a mannequin head you're able to achieve a hundred percent perfect in the haircut okay then you are able to proceed to life model okay that means you already know the concept in your head then you can proceed the haircut for the models okay not every hair models hair are equal amount sometimes more sometimes less sometimes curly sometimes straight so it's very difficult to maintain our haircut to be as perfect as possible okay for mannequin it comes from one factory if you buy the head in a box then basically the box inside got 25 heads then you can cut 25 times and you can perfect yourself from there now cross checking is it a must no up to the person itself right if you want to do cross check you can do cross check if you do not want to do you can don't do a lot of us can skip to the trimming part right but of course if you able to do cross check then your trimming part will be lesser time to finish now this side I'm done I'm going to do that side Okay, so I have done the, the cross check and we will proceed to the blow dry. Okay, so I have uh, blow dry the hair and you can see over here that the whole haircut is from the short to long. Okay, so from this short to long, this haircut, what we see there is some difference with the previous haircut. The previous haircut, it looks very heavy over here, but now it looks softer and there's no pillow of weight. Okay. So, but uh, there is a difference in the haircut that you see the line over here. Now, how come the line like there is is shorter? Because there is no weight at the bottom anymore. Okay. Though that we did not we did not cut the line, but we did use the line as a guideline to snip off some of the weight inside. That's why it will result to this. Should I cut this off? Yes, you can. But I'm not cutting it because I'm trying to maintain the length today and cut the concave graduation inside. You can see that 
we did not really cut the outline. Okay, I myself I didn't cut the outline, but because of due of the weight inside, it actually soften it and actually contracts. If I want to cut it off, yes, you can. Okay, if you cut it off now, will it look nicer? Yes, it will look nicer. Okay, neater. All right, but uh, I'm not going to cut it because I'm going to show you guys the difference. Okay, in this haircut. Okay. I'll purposely push it up a bit and just show you this way. Okay, some of us in salon will actually cut it like that, but much higher, it will go up like that. Okay. Why? Because they bring up to bring up very high for the angle. That means they, they create uh, lesser weight inside. Okay, by bringing it up even higher than I. That is why they can create a difference this way okay so how we're going to trim the hair here we will actually comb and lift the hair up okay not to 90 to the same previous angle okay and try to snip off about a percent of weight inside so that we will not see the line okay can i use thinning scissors yes you can but not too much because if we use too much of thinning scissors, you will create more steps. At the same time, we will create a hole. At the same time, the hair will not feel concave, but it will be flattened a bit somewhere. Okay, it depends on how much you cut. Okay? And the percentage of the thinning scissors that you have. Alright, let's refresh. Okay, so let's refresh of just now how we cut the hair. Is that um we actually section off the right above the ear, the bottom, and the top here over here. Okay, why we section off this part? Because we want to maintain length and not cutting it. Now the bottom here, we actually every part we take an A. Okay, it goes like that. Okay, every section we bring towards to the center and maintain the length which is the outline and we cut from short to long which is diagonal forward at the angle of more than 45 less than 89 now when we cut we have to do a cross check when we do a cross check it's actually the opposite of the cutting section same angle same direction different section okay so you might find it that what you are cutting the, for the cutting section is actually the opposite of each other for the cross check. So after we cut it, we cross check, when it's done, we make sure both sides equal, we will proceed to the top, which is the back of the head here. So when we cut, we actually same thing, going this way, diagonal forward for both sides. Okay, you can cut one side first. Okay, letting go some of the hair here. Okay, and I will direct the hair right to the back to maintain the length in front and cut off the internal graduation inside. Now, when we cut inside, right, we make sure that every angle is actually higher than the previous. Not the same angle for every section, but increase the graduation angle higher okay now it's not say that every angle is at 45 or 50 or 60. now you might seems to know that the head is actually round every position of the hair strand on the head the 90 degrees at, is at a different placement correct that means the 45 is also at a different placement so it cannot be that every time when you section to the top the angle should be lower or should be the same okay it should be higher going higher higher by how much estimate about two or five i myself i can't calculate that whether it's two or five it's just that it must be higher and higher and higher Okay, when you cut it. 
Now, after you cut it, same both sides. Cross check the whole haircut before you blow dry. Okay, after blow dry, what we did, we trimmed the hair. Now, what you see is that we did not trim that much of hair. Why? It's because at the wet progress, I already cross check, take off the excess weight, whatever left over later on when I blow dry. It's just that when the hair dries up, they start to contract here and there and just trim off the so-called invisible weight or length. Okay, so after that, it's done, the whole haircut. So if you can cut and cross check and you do well in that area, your trimming, you can don't do also can. Or you can use the thinning scissors and just do it at the ends one time at every placement that you want to see then it will be lighter okay so let's proceed to you have seen the finishing result of the haircut and I hope that you like my tips and tricks and my explanation in detail form and I hope to see you in my next video